Hello developers. Today we're going to start building our Shopcart e-commerce website. So that will be a complete fully a backend and a front-end solution for any e-commerce website. So as you see, that will be our entire homepage, which uh, the data is funneling from our backend CMS. And we're using the front-end using the Next.js and Telvin CSS and a lot of other new features. So first of all, let's just see what kind of uh, scenario we're going to have. And before starting uh, pouring all the details, just I'm saying you that all of our entire application it will be a fully responsive application and also I will provide the link here which is deployed here because after building the application we are going to deploy it too and I'm gonna make that one in a very uh, profitable way so you can understand any e-commerce building setup even it will be a long video there will be a parse but if you combine and finish all of this trust me you're gonna have a proper and clear understanding about how e-commerce website function and how you can build it from the scratch so first of all let's just go through the features and a stack which we're gonna implement then we're gonna go and make things round up so first of all as you see that is our home page which having the logo then we have our tiny uh, button tab here for the never and then we have our search tab where you can see the search you can click and just get the search result and this everything is fully functional so what I say it link will be provided so you can just have a good understanding how those things is functional Functioning. and then we have our card icon our favorite icon our login segment and then we have our banner if you click on the banner it will take us to the shop page where we have a certain kind of uh, like a filter section we're gonna come back to it later on so first of all as you see in the home page we have that gadget appliances refrigerator like a combination of that so we can just go through and make that things like as you see we can filter the product the live product which we're having Having in our data set that's really really happening in a very cool manner because we are using our CMS like the studio which we are maintaining using the sanity and all of the data is just funneling from there then if you click and see all it will go through directly again that shop page by the way if we click any of that images it will take the slack that product slack which is unique for each and every single product then it will uh, like uh, land in a single product page where we can view the details and all other scenario for this particular product so now we are in the single product page where in the left we have our product description we have the images now i use the dummy images because you know we're building it up so if in a real product if you change those it will work perfectly fine and if you just check in the back end okay i need to go with my credential to log in and refactor because not anybody can log in and by default sonity providing a single user authentication so a particular user can have uh, those uh, access now over here if we just look back through our products we can see all of those data which we are showcasing in the home particularly one way or either it just funneling from here you can see the details which we are showcasing at the front end is uh, just passing from here and if I change anything it will reflect it directly at the real time so now we have uh, the uh, description here then we have uh, the rating here the price here then I can go and make add to card delete card add to like favorite delete favorite so also in the characteristic I can see the product details and other parameter you see the brand collection type stock so all other things is just a line here then also I can go with the description additional info reviews everything is covered here let's go back to the home and we will just explore a bit here we can add more product from here as you see every time we're adding the quantity increase and add the look at the things is here the calculation here every time i added the product is adding my subtotal here and according to that prices which is just applied here if i remove you see it just whenever the, this one is available only then is appearing and after that we have the category section if i click any of that category it will go through to make the things a little bit attuned up to go and uh, filter with the categories so now this is a separate one this is not the shop one this is 
only individual for the category segment so all of the category product we can just align it here but we have all other filters also and particularly we are knowing which category having how many items as the kitchen appliances one item television two refrigerator one so item available then we have the brand so we can now go through to make shop by brand which we're gonna see the selected brand and also is filtered so this how is combined here so now before going to explain the blog let's go in the shop and we're going to explore uh, all of the scenario now in that here by default there is a presentation here once you go to the bottom everything is working perfectly you can just click on that kitchen you see the kitchen is applied here you can click in the refrigerator and you can receive the selection if you want let's see the mobile and i can also go with a uh, like a different variation and by the way if we go i think let's go in the sony nothing okay uh the apple i have one phone and also i can reset the entire like i have two separate also if i go in the price range here so over 500 i can find it now these three filters is running here i can remove it all together like reset all of the filters and whenever i'm removing you see all data is prefetching and this is super fast if I go in the television, you can see the television. If I go in the earbuds, I can see the earbuds. I can receive the individual selection here and the, see the beauty here. Whenever this is applicable, only that time I can see the receipt filters and also the receipt selection. So on the single time, it's just appearing whenever I'm here. And then I can go over and over again so I can have a proper understanding how those things is working. So this is a very uh, like a very good way to customize the things. And you s look at the clean bills here. Also the same thing is responsive here. So you can see the variation you can combine and you can make it align all together. So let's just add some product from here too. Let's go back to the home. And before going to the cart and other functionality, let's just uh, look at through the blog if i click any of the block content it will go with our single block parameter with that particular slag and then it's gonna provide all the details and trust me all of the data which we are funneling through our blog uh, block product or block category or block type it just coming up from our backend structure so now as you see i can go through the blog and i can just go to any other blog like uh except the current one i can just filter through all other block and just view that one and also if you go in the blog you can have your blog section you can go to the contact you can have your contact parameter and in the contact uh like uh, those things to be scenario to let like just uh, make that contact segment to be done and there is a slight error i think it's just uh yeah it's just a hydration error so nothing to worry then also we have our hot deal section where we can just find the product according to our hot deal so this is all are combining the way it's uh need to be flourished so this all are added in the hot deal and by the way we have also our other pages like other separate pages about us contact us terms and conditions privacy policy faqs everything is available here if you go in the contact us if you go in the terms and condition you can read all of those things you can just visualize how that can be combined together and then let's go to our faq so where the people can uh, just find some answers of their questions now also if you just toggle through you see you can just view the details so now let's look how it can combine here we have there is some of the button here if you go in the search first of all is passing you some kind of data module if you click it will select some of the data you can add to from card here the same because all the card and adding functionality it's just coming with a single property props right if you click if it's not finding it will just provide you the error so all of the card and calculation formula we are combining with a particular uh, component by which it is getting dynamic everywhere we can use the same thing as we want now let's go to look in our card when you go here we will let the user to go back to the car they can come in the car they can come in the fabric page but you know they can't view anything till they are logged in and we are forcing the user to log in so if i just go and calculate okay let's sign in with that we have a certain kind of things so we can send it with a github google and particularly email it's because we are using that our uh, cl uh, our clerk that authentication management system and i'm going to show you each and everything i'm going to go in depth to let you understand all of the things from the beginning till and again trust me if you complete the entire project 
you it will lend you to find a suitable job for you because everything here what you're gonna learn it's gonna be fully compactful for any e-commerce uh development or any uh, uh go with any next year's project development or you can say the front end uh front end back end or full stack developments by so far and our old entire project it will be in type script too so let's go and i will just log in with my this account and after logged in we'll just uh, roll back to our particular scenario here as you see we was being in a wish list so now we can see the wish list item let's add to the card let's go back to the card here now in the car segment in the right side we have our product uh left side we have the product and the right side we have our description if you click any of the product the same thing is gonna happen it will let you to just go and see the details about the product and by the way if we just focus one of the things is going on here is this stock quantity so as you see we have the nine piece of camera like so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna want to make it out of stock so i'm gonna add nine piece of camera you see after adding nine i cannot add more than nine it will be like a you who doesn't have this stock but you cannot oversell right in that way you are always be in a proper manner so like you say it, you're promising that a user can buy from you but you doesn't have a stock how you can provide so we are encapsulating that one if i doesn't have the, if i don't have the stock the user can't add it or they cannot order it so by the way you can just add product from delete product product from here and you can do all the functionality right and also if you click on that if you say okay it will reset the entire car if you just click you see that car is reseted and you are having a very good view here so let's just add some more product here i'm gonna add from here and i'm gonna because i want to make it out of stock so let's go in the card and we will make it as a checkout and also we can select the address here so it's up to you whatever address you are selecting and now i'm running my webhook because every time whenever a successful payment gonna happen i need to track the order right i need to pass the delivery segment to our users so that in that purposes i need to track if his payment is done or if it's ready to check uh ready to go out like uh for delivery or not i need to check that so let's go and proceed to checkout which is a ten thousand eight hundred and twenty four dollar and i'm using the stripe payment checkout segment it's very simple and very easy to implement and it's worldwide adaptable so you can go with your regional one and let me know in the videos which one you're preferring i will try to consider and make a separate video for it but for this one i will go with this stripe segment and let's say 12 34 1 2 3 and i will go with my name that's it let's hit pay and after processing as you see every webhook is running so i'm tracking down all of the actions is passing here and i'm waiting to that uh, uh like the payment uh, successful the intent after intent create to successfully receive the payment and that time i'm gonna just pass that entire data flow to my webhook so that i can just uh, track it down and pass that to my uh like the database now as you see successfully order confirmed so order is confirmed and as you see if i go and check my orders right here so i'll receive their 10,084 if i click here i can see my orders and i can also go to download the invoice and i can download the invoice too as you see now it's very simple to go and download now remember one of the product if i just uh, recall that if i go in in our product segment one of the products which is the canon which we are willing to make it out of stock remember so let's see the details here and if we just go at the bottom as you see the stock count is zero right if we go in our shop card if we go in the home page or somewhere so let's just go back there. now as you see that one is unavailable the stock is changed and if even you click and go in the single leg everywhere the same thing is interlinked so you cannot add it anymore like the button is visible how you can purchase when you cannot add that one right so it will not be addable so that's the way we are combining also if we go back here anywhere you go in our application layer everywhere the same setup we combine so that's the dynamic way we are fetching we are interacting and we are individually building all the segment so that you will be redirected in a proper way in a valid manner and you will understand it perfectly so by the way now let's go and uh, 
if you want to explore a little bit more here you can go through it but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and start the building phase and there will be a lot of other segments each and every single part i'm gonna explain each and every single in depth what i really want it to do it and also i'm gonna prefer how you can combine it all together and it will be entitled within a playlist called a shop cart e-commerce website you can find all of the entire videos how many parts is there it will get over and over there and if you are having any trouble to completing if you're any trouble to bypassing any of the scenario let me know in the comments we'll try to resolve it and of course let's just go and update like i purchased the product and i want to update it and let's publish so now as you see i got my stock available so now i want the user to be able to purchase so now if we just come back in my application and as you see there is a few seconds of the glitch it's because of that like you need to wait for to be hot reload and even we can pass revalidate zero it will take a few seconds to revalidate so as you see now it's available anyone can purchase and you know do that week so that's how you can measure and also as you see the other tracker you can do a lot of other things like this one is paid if it's not paid you can also make that one like if you go in the order and you can find the details here so that's the one which we are tracking through and it's all uh, depends on the particular user right so now if we just select here you see there is like paid you we can like unselect that like best processing pending cut of delivery shipped or let's say delivered i want to make it as delivered and there is a note that was in case scenario which will as you see the deliver so it's highlighted that one is done you can just make it done okay the order is finished we're good to go you can like uh, make that one and also we will we can implement to delete method if you want it so so everything is a uh, fully customizable we're gonna make it happen so i think it will be a fully a complete view for you and others so let me know in the comments whatever the more functionality you are willing and looking forward because as we are going to make that one uh like uh in a very specific way so we can add and adapt more and more the way we are looking forward so let's just start building our application